let's look at the 12th proposition of Euclid's Elements Book 3. The proposition says that if two circles are touching each other, then if you join the center points of these two circles, then it will pass through the point of contact between these two circles. Okay, so how do we prove this? We just have a line connecting these two centers. So again, proof by contradiction. Let us say the center is not here. It is somewhere else. Similarly, let us say it is somewhere else. So we are assuming that these are the two centers of these two circles. Let's mark the points of intersection of FG with these two circles. Okay, so we have C and D as the points of intersection. By just doing this much, uh, we are, you know, getting into a contradiction. How? Now, if you remember the proposition regarding triangles, the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side, right? So, FA plus AG is greater than FG, okay? Now, remember, we have assumed that F, the center of the circle is here. That means these two are radii, FA and FC are the radii of the circle. That means they are both equal to each other. Okay. Now, again, AG and DG, they are both radii of circle C. That means they are equal to each other. That means AF plus F AG is equal to FC plus DG. So, if we add this CD as well, the distance between C and D to FC and DG, then what happens? FA plus AG becomes smaller than FG. So, using one proposition, it becomes greater and if we look at it in another way, based on these centers, then FA plus AG becomes smaller. It can't be both. So, we have reached a contradiction. That means, F and G are not the centers of the circles. Now, let's move this approximately to the center. You will notice that it actually passes through the point of contact or if I actually display the actual centers P and Q and if I join these two points, you will notice it passes through A, the point of contact and it doesn't matter where this point of contact is. Yes, I wanted to focus on PQ because that P and Q are the centers. Suddenly one of these lines joins because the point of intersection goes off. Yes, so you have to keep that in mind. So that is proposition 12 of book 3 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, uh, there is a link to a PDF book provided in the video description. Please don't hesitate to download the book, refer to it. And if you feel somebody else will benefit from it, please share it. That's it for now.